Welcome to knowledge sharing video by Nagaraj Patil. In this session, we can see uh, operation by using streamline method uh, where you will get more control over the tool path. So it will come under a group of uh, this mill contour area, streamline. This is recommended for finishing complex shapes, especially when you want to control the flow and direction of smooth cut pattern. So whenever you keep cursor on that, it will elaborate itself. It is saying that whenever you want to have control over the flow of the cutter. So that time you need to use streamline method. First and foremost thing is to create a tool. So already I have selected or created a tool. The same tool I am going to use. Otherwise you can retrieve it from tool library. You can create any kind of tool which you are having. For this type of surface, I feel ball mill is suitable one. So that's why I have taken ball mill. If you want to edit a diameter or hold a angle or something, that time you can go for edit and select tool, change the parameters according to your need. So next is a driving method I kept as streamline. Other things also you can take but in this session we are focusing on the streamline method. So go for this edit. It will help you to specify flow curves and cross curves which uses curves to create a drive geometry when you want to have additional control of a geometry or when the part geometry is not available. You can select face edges, you can select existing curves or wireframe curves or you can specify points to create number of flow and cross curves. In the combination, if you use flow and cross curve, the left side image will help, uh, help you to understand these black color lines are your tool paths. Whenever you select this A as your flow curve, the cutter flow will be like this along with the flow curve. When you specify both the flow curve and cross curve, this will give result like this. Sometime if you don't want to select the cross curve, that time only it will generate like this and you can see the flow will be up to here. The straight line, imaginary straight line if you see from this point to this point that much area it will cover. Sometime you want to avoid this to a certain position then you need to draw a line and you need to consider it as a flow curve. In left side image you can observe here we have considered this red color lines as flow curves and blue color lines as cross curves. So the resultant you can see and you can see the difference between these two whenever you consider flow curve cross curve and only flow curve. Now we will select the flow curves. Flow curves are nothing but the cutter flow it will have with respect to this flow curves. You can select flow curves. If I select this, uh, this edge, it is selecting all the tangential curves. Why? Because in selection filter I kept tangent, tangent curve. So I will change, I will reselect this or you can delete the selected flow curve go for single curve and select the flow curves after this you need to go for add new set because i want to select this second flow curve you can type middle scroll or add new set the flow direction should be same after that if you want to create number of curves on the part then you need to click like for example 3 if I keep you can see the preview so right now I not needed if you want you can have it so now I will select cross curves selection filter single curve this is my cross curve add new this is my second cross curve here I will keep tool position as on the curve tangential to the surface or contact here I will keep tan to for this type of shape 
number of step over you want you can give constant value scale of or number here i will keep number as it is and also uh, for example if you want to start it from here how to specify that on by using cut direction specify cut direction and select the flow from here i want to select so i will select this one once i click this the dot is coming in this way so my cutting will be start from here generate now you may see the toolpath is generated like this you can see some places unusual toolpaths are coming so that if you want to reduce that can be done by specifying this trim and extend value here i will make it 90 so that 10 percentage of that cutting area will be uh, ignored say ok and generate here you can see the path is good and here in this region i am want to do so i will make it a 10 percent tune skip you can change the flow now it is okay you can reduce a step over so that you will get fine machining next is geometry node in geometry node you can specify part stock this is nothing but how much material you want to keep on a surface for finishing it is up to you whether you want to finish directly or you want to keep a 0.1 or 0.15 material for finishing in some area if you are done clamping or some region you don't want to touch that you can specify in check specify cut area will help you to select uh, the region and uh, where you are willing to machine streamline drive method by using cut area the streamline drive method gives you a great flexibility when it comes for creation of the toolpath the drive surface can be automated or it can be manually selected the manually selection we have seen in by using flow curve and cross curve uh, if you select a cut area and you, if you keep that selection method as automatic the software derives the flow curves sets automatically from specified cut area by using this cut area you can eliminate holes and small internal trim areas and also it fills small gaps and uh, it smoothens your uh, toolpath and it allows you to add more curves to the flow curve and cross curve sets and more on you need to specify the tool axis if it is a three axis keep zm if it is having a, some uh, positional machining if you are doing like three plus one that time you need to specify the vector through which direction it has to cut speed and speed you need to specify according to the uh, the material which you are using the tool type and the machine in strategy if you are having material more than uh, uh, one mm or something that time if you want to do uh, multiple passes then you have to keep offset for example 2 mm material is there then you keep 2 mm and multi depths you can go by increment value or number of passes increment value if you give for example 0.25 it means uh, from uh, it will do uh, create a tool paths by 0 0.25 0 0.25 depths and every time it will try to machine 0 0.25 0 0.25 depth from top 2 mm it will start and it will go up to the finishing so whenever there is a material more that time you need to use this multi passes whenever there is a maximum step value if you give lesser value then if some area if you skip that time it will start going toolpath continuously if you want to optimize the toolpath you can optimize it if you want to turn on smoothing option on you can turn on so whenever there is an adjacent toolpath is available 
there exactly it will go it will start machining in english type you can keep arc type linear type linear along vector if you want to have a, a specific direction from where your tool has to come then you have to keep linear helical clockwise plunge plunge you should not use so the directly cutter will come and uh, hit to the part if you keep plunge always you try to keep this uh, collision check on whenever there is a collision or uh, uh, touching to the fixtures or something the software will give, give you alarm so this is for safer, uh, safer side you have to keep collision check on thanks for watching like share and subscribe to the channel